I can't. What's that? You know what? You have nothing to do? No. No. It's not the absence of choice. It's it's like, it's too much choice. I can't pick one thing and I end up doing nothing. So why not just lay in bed if I can't do any of it? All right. Well, if you're not getting anything done laying over there, then come get nothing done sitting over here. Come sit with me. Let's have a talk. You don't have to do anything. Just come sit down. Yeah? Fine. Fine. <sighs> don't touch anything. Why? It needs to work. Do you? Yes. Why? Because I set myself the goal of getting these shorts done, but I also need a script in a YouTube video. I can't do both, I'm gonna end up doing neither, and if I don't start something now, I won't get anywhere. Right, well, I actually noticed passion wasn't anywhere in that why. It's a given. The concept is, but not the execution. What's really stopping you? I... I fell in love with a YouTube I grew up with, and I just don't know if I really... see it anymore. Everyone just used to be so unique and genuine with their own stories and channels to build. I mean, Liza was refreshing and hilarious. Her with David were adorable. Minecraft was experimental and limitless. Smosh was a troop with hilariously innovative people. Markiplier and Jacksepticeye were heartfelt gamers. Casey and Emma had vlogs in different fonts. And who's to say there isn't originality in content creation now? There is, but now it's just so bottlenecked and factory-like. Everyone was so different from each other, not just by niche, but by way of making videos in said niches. And it all worked. All of them worked. There was no cheat code to guaranteed virality and views. They didn't chase virality. They chased connection. They chased impact. And they chased a big spot in the big family that was the YouTube community. Is. Not was. You still have a spot to fill in that family. It's not a community anymore. It's not. Not the kind I used to dream of being in. All the community that was there was sucked out of it when everyone started keeping to their own kind and their own grind. YouTube Rewind is gone. Escape the Night, cancelled. Smosh Summer Games, discontinued. Everything that brought together YouTubers from everywhere for something genuinely exciting, something that told them they belonged in YouTube, that told the audience everyone could get along and make magic together no matter the niche, is gone. No wonder people are so obsessed with Minecraft Championship and the Last Life series. In them lies the essence of what used to make YouTube so magical. The ability to bring together creators of different places and influence even just for a day a month or a week a year. That's not the same, that's just Minecraft. Where is the community between the makeup artists and the vloggers and the bakers and the challenge takers? It's non-existent. It doesn't exist anymore. Bridges were burned, collaborations turned nasty, collaboration that remained didn't give YouTubers the same level of importance as others in said collaborations. Everyone figured out the one way to make it in their own niche, and they by as hell stood next to it. Mr. Beast has flashy thumbnails and high tempo. All of YouTube follows. Someone posts a video about a day in the life, and the whole world follows the exact same way. Then don't follow. Well, I'm not trying to. You're not. That's why you can't get up to make content anymore, because in the back of your mind are those dozens of day in the life vlogs and Mr. Beast challenges. Do me a favor, leave all that strategy stuff to the businesses and the corporate kings and the fame seekers, yeah? Instead of keeping your goals in the box of what you've seen today, make your future what you saw in the past. Like Spider-Verse. Well, for a long time, actually, the animation industry was like super stagnant and samey. Just because they were all different stories didn't mean they weren't as lifeless as the last computer animated film. And when, frankly, a large margin of people thought animation was dead, Spider-Verse came out. Something that kind of looked and felt the same as old animation, that had the same passion, yet also having been breathed new life and given a beautiful modern spin that didn't make it samey but elevated it to new heights. It feels like the animation industry was brought back to life just out of nowhere. I can do that too, right? I can be, be the Spider-Verse of the YouTube industry. But where do I start? You start with them. And them. <laughs> you blend the new with the old. Don't be afraid to take influence from those who had the most influence on you, no matter how dated they may be. Because there is still hope.
there are still creators in this industry breaking out of the mold. All you have to do is push it a little bit harder. Bring the community back into YouTube. Breathe new life into the creative sphere. Find the creatives locked away in their own niches and bring them back together again. This is something that you may have never seen done before, never dared to do. But that's performing creativity. That's what makes you a creative. Take pride in the scariness, because if it's scary, it means you're doing something new that's going to change the world. Right, yeah, bring the community back together. All, all I have to do is gain enough influence to actually do that, and with my hundred followers, it's not. All I have to do is make enough videos and get good enough at the whole YouTube thing to become influential, and then I can bring the community back together. I can piece it. I can piece YouTube back together. Yeah, yeah, totally. There are so many ideas for videos. I have like a ton of ideas. I could bring the excitement back into YouTube, and then once I get enough influence, I can like invite other people onto my channel from tons of different niches. I have so many ideas for videos. This is gonna be awesome. I can do this. Yeah. But that Whoa, wait, wait, there are LED toilet light seats. Oh, I'm so getting one of those. 16 colors? 